So guys, this man forgot he was on a national television. He did not realize that cameras were on him. Take a look at this. Let nobody, let nobody in this country threaten another person. Did you hear me? Nobody should threaten, a, nobody has a monopoly of anything. We are one country. So guys, after this northern elder came out yesterday to make a mess of Tinubu and his team, you know, he said the team, I mean the economic team of Tinubu, that they are drowning. They don't even know what to do as regards to the situation in Nigeria. You know, he said a whole lot of things. He criticized Tinubu's nepotic appointment. He also talked about how Tinubu appointed his uh, son-in-law as the chief of, you know, uh, housing agents in Nigeria. And after, after that appointment, he floated billions of naira into that ministry or whatever, you know. He criticized so many things and he talked about how the North is being neglected. That after all, that the North gave Tinubu 62% of the entire votes that Tinubu got. And now the North is being sidelined. So he lamented bitterly. I want you to listen to Tinubu's spokesman who has come out to respond to all those uh, criticism. Just take your time and watch this video and see that these politicians, they are just using, you know, the poor to survive. Take a look at this. Uh, Professor Usman Yusuf came on your station yesterday to basically uh, make incitement to propagate disunity and basically make uh, a mockery of himself. That's, that's, that, that, that is what he did at his age, which is just too shameful. Now, what, what is the, the, the uh, present situation in Nigeria? We, we have citizens who are going through uh, serious challenges. And our problem is not even lack of food. We don't. Even you, Stephen, should know that we don't, do not have lack of food. We are not lacking food in this country. It is the money to buy the food. Professor, you still said the same thing yesterday. Then? You said the same thing yesterday. Uh, 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 you said? I said, Prof, said I the same thing said, yesterday. Seriously. <laughs> but you have to put things in perspective yes, so that but, you know but, precisely but you what you are responding you gave, to. Yes, yes, excuse me. You gave him opportunity to gaslight, to basically... Um, uh, he was he was even on the verge of calling for insurrection. So That's in what, what he was doing, he and I was so ashamed of. In what way did he gaslight? He, he, he was he was excuse excuse me. He was totally gaslighting. In what he was way? totally gaslighting. What did he say he was that talking, was gaslighting? He was talking beautiful. He was talking about nothing. Uh, uh, Nigeria, Southern Nigeria, not a leader as this, as if he's the spokesman he of the Sultan. As if he's the he spokesman. He said that. Good God. He, Let me speak. Yes. This is my right of reply. Excuse me. I personally called Prince Unduka Obaikbena for this right of reply. If you will let me speak, for God's sake. Okay? Now, he came here. He, pre, he, he, he claimed to be speaking for Northern traditional rulers. He is not the spokesman of Northern traditional rulers. This, his eminence, the Sultan of Sokoto, is my friend. I have gone to his house. I have eaten food with the Sultan. He's not the spokesman of the Sultan, for God's sake. He just comes here. This is someone who was sacked from his job. Then he comes here. He starts uh, 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 trying to push the North against the South. And you give him a platform. And you know the kind of character he is. A cantankerous character. That's who he is. That's what Professor uh, 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 Yusuf is. Then he, he keeps he keeps saying not 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 what we are one Nigeria for God's sake. We are all in this together. Now you you have you have a governor in in uh, in Niger State who says food should not move down south. Oh. That is the game we are going to play in this country. Then what does uh, governor, my own governor, uh, uh, Sheriff uh, Oborewari do? He says, let no, uh, does he say, let no uh, crude oil flow to uh, Dangote refinery in Lagos? Then what does Judas Awolu do? He says, no tanker of oil should move to Niger State 
Are we not one country for God's sake? Let nobody, let nobody in this country threaten another person. Did you hear me? Nobody should threaten, a, nobody has a monopoly of anything. We are one country. Okay, your guest yesterday is a most ill, excuse me, your guest yesterday was, was behaving most irresponsibly. It's not the spokesman. This sultan of Sokoto is my friend. My cousin, Air Vice Marshal Terry Okoro Dudu, introduced me to him. Okay? What are your reflections on Professor Usman Yusuf's critique of the current administration's handling of Nigeria's economic challenges, especially speaking on the recklessness of the government as he's described? An example he gave being the sudden which, removal which, of which fuel subsidy with that, I'm about to tell you that being the fuel subsidy removal without looking at the balance sheet of the nation or consulting with, uh, with, a, with a cabinet that was barely there. The body language looks like this administration oh, does not oh, have please, a plan. Please. How do you refute that? You We're know seeing the effects. Like gas. You are, you are, I'm just asking you a question, Mr. Anapa, sir. You are gaslighting. You, yes, I have heard your question. Can you let me speak for God's sake? You, can you speak are now. gaslighting. Which, which irresponsibility of which administrator? You, are we going to use your uh, grandparents' money to pay for, for subsidy? No, they did not see the eight years of waste, of printing of money, of burying money. To pay for what? To put money in their own pockets. It is today we want to want to do what? Do which protests? Listen to me. All these things won't work. Do you know the kind of people that support this government? It's people who love truth. Who love this country. Okay? People who love the truth and who love, genuinely love this country. Not rent seekers. Not thieves. Who want to keep putting subsidy money in their pockets. Alright? There was no money to pay subsidy. It was eight years of grotesque irresponsibility. Okay? Now, you get this guy more than an hour yesterday to start gaslighting. So, so he was on the verge of insurrection. That's, not, that's not correct, Mr. Lopasa. We didn't give him, we didn't give him more than one hour. Mr. Lopasa, listen, correct, listen, let's calm down so that we can hear uh, each other better. We didn't give him more than one hour. We gave him a slot that was barely 30 minutes. I mean, he made this point. Why don't you just respond to the issues that he raised rather than claiming that everybody's gaslighting? He did not make any point. I am. I am. I am responding to the point. If you will let me. Right. If you will let me respond, yeah. please. All right, Mr. Onakwasa. If you will let me respond, please. All right, Mr. Onakwasa. Now, let, let us just go to the details here. We are here. one country. Can we go to the details here, Mr. Oji, Onakwasa? Oji. How are you? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good, 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 good. Good morning, my adorable Oji. All right, let, let's just go to the details here. There were a lot of accusations. First of all, uh, Professor Yusuf Usman accused President Bola Ahmed Tinubu of nepotism after he appointed his son-in-law as the head of Federal uh, Housing Authority. He also talked about how this administration has pushed more Nigerians into multi-dimensional poverty because of some of his policies. I'd like for you to respond to those two. Did he? Did he? Let me just land. My main I question. Not, I am not. I am not. My main question, I because because it is scripts, sure, it is your it is your right of reply, and I'd like for you to respond to those accusations. That's yes, number one. So, number yes, two. So I am. I. I. Sure. I am. Sure. Number two. My I am responding. Will sure. you let me respond? Go ahead. I will not dance for your tune. No problem. On those two My accusations. God, you will have to give me some respect. Sure, sir. On Beautiful. those two accusations. Now, let us. It is a, it's a conversation for God's sake. Absolutely. You will let me speak. Go ahead, sir. Go I ahead. adore your daughter. Please, let me speak. Go ahead, sir. You, the Good. floor is yours. You, I adore you. Let Thank me you. speak. Now, now, which nepotism is he talking about? Is it the nepotism we saw the last eight years? He wants to protest what? Why is anybody threatening in this country? Who? Threatening who? That you will stop food from coming from north to south. Then the people from south should stop what they produce to go to go to the north. Do we still have a country? What is wrong with people in this country? Who is threatening who? Seriously. We have one country. Listen, I think Steve, uh, uh, my brother Steve and your will understand this better. I will mention one word. One nation, one destiny. It was the mantra during the era of Shehu Shagari. If nobody there understands that, Steve most certainly will understand it. I do understand okay? it. Yes, one nation. Let's respect yes. each other. Nobody, 
Nobody should threaten, threaten another person in this country. Okay. We are all in this together. All right, Mr. We have a president in this country. Our president means well. Please let me speak. Our president means well. He is working hard to put things together. Do you even know the biggest problem we had the last eight years? When all these people, their voices were silent. The problem was the emasculation of President Tinubu from the... If, if President Tinubu's touch was in the government this last eight, eight, eight years, we will not be where we are today. All right. Okay. We are trying to get off, get out of a, a difficult situation. Then somebody comes on on, uh, on on television and starts threatening people that he will do what Governor Bango says is uh, he wants to uh, stop food moving from uh, from Niger State. Should I stop food from moving from Delta State to the state? What an insult! All right. We are one country. Let us rest. Listen, nobody. Excuse me. Nobody is afraid of anybody. Okay. Let nobody threaten anybody in this country. All Please. Right. All right. What an insult! Sure. All right, all right, Mr. Anakwasa, you've talked about, about threat a lot. But I asked a question, and it was just a question about nepotism, which you have not answered yet. But I'll yes. skip that. I'll, I'll, skip, I'll said, skip that I question. Said, I said, is it nepotism? Mm -hmm. No, is it nepotism? Whatever nepotism is embellishing, is it worse than the nepotism of the last eight years? This is what is happening. All right, the idea okay, of Nigeria your being brother, your candidate has. The, the idea of Nigeria being plunged into multi-dimensional poverty <laughs> was one of his main issue on the program yesterday. But I'd like, I'd like, I'd like for you. Nigeria, well, you've answered some of those questions. Can but, I answer you? No, I've heard, you I will. Have heard your question. You will. Can I but answer it now? I gave you five minutes to respond, but you haven't responded. But let me ask you this last question. What do you I, make? I, I want to respond to the sure, question. Sure. No, I, I insist on responding. To okay, the go ahead, sir. Is it Bola Tinubu that cost? Beautiful. Is it Bola Tinubu that caused multidimensional poverty in Nigeria? How? 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 We are Christians. Today is Sunday, for God's sake. Let us fear God. How did Bola Tinubu cause a single problem in this country? How? Eight years? You were there? Well, he talked about How many people, how many people were lifted out of poverty? It's Bola Tinubu's fault. Bola Tinubu is not even one year in power. Okay. Let's, let's, people are complaining. Mr. 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 Onokasa, please can I ask you a question? Because you asked, you said what problems has he caused. So let's talk about some of the problems we're facing today that we did not face before he was sworn in on the 29th of May, 2023. Can we talk about some of the exact problems we're facing? We have new inflation figures for monetary inflation. The Naira has lost its value. At a faster rate than under President, Mr. you did not answer Oji's previous question, which was about nepotism. Yes, you are a I will answer the, the first question before this. Your question about nepotism specifically. No, she asked about nepotism no, we, specifically. We, we, we will. Oh. We, we are not having, we are not, we are no longer having a conversation if you will not allow me answer the question. You, you can't dictate to me. I'm just asking this if you are right going to speak on nepotism in government. Which nepotism? Which nepotism? Which nepotism? Is it the volatile wood that walked his own son out of a federal executive meeting that you are accusing of? Well, the federal executive meeting has, is, has people oh, who. What? What? Yes. <laughs> There's, there's what, legal requirements what, what for who me? can be on the Federal Executive Council meetings, right? This is a very important meeting. No, and nobody. Then, then what? What, but we're what are you saying? We're talking about the appointment of his son in law to be in charge of the Federal Housing Committee. Commission, my apologies. No, he, he is not qualified. Are you more qualified than him? What do you mean by that? What, what's, what's the body? Listen to me. Nobody. Uh, listen, listen. I'm not going to dance to this, this gaslighting you are, you are trying to do, my, my adorable daughter. Nobody should threaten anybody in this country. We are one country. Do you know the kind of people that support Bola Tinubu? Let nobody think that he can intimidate anybody. Not in this country. The people who support Bola Tinubu, we support him from the bottom of our heart. And we support him because we believe that this country is in a precarious state. And this is the kind of man we need to be our... People just... They, you, they, there's this narrative out there that people follow. Do I look like Daniel Bala? We, we, we don't collect money from Bola Tinubu. We spend our money on Bola Tinubu. If you don't know. All right. So, Mr. Nopasa. I've said it on television. May I? So, guys, this conversation would have been more interesting if Rufai was available. But I know that this man must have asked, you know, the administration of... Um, 
their rights television not to involve Rufai because the last time you know that Rufai interviewed him it was like a big fight so possibly he must have asked them to excuse Rufai from this conversation so you can see that this government honestly despite all the mistakes they are making they are still claiming that they are working Nigerians are yet to feel the effect of their work because as it stands now honestly you think we don't have a leader you think you we don't have a president because the, the the effect of what is happening is really biting on the people on a daily notes you know and we don't have policies on ground to arrest all this so guys there are a lot i hope you have seen the response of tinubu's uh, spokesman how he responded he was almost fighting you know on the studio forgetting that cameras were on him forgetting that he was on a national television house forgetting that nigerians just wanted to find hope in this administration but you can see from the way he has spoken that hope is really far from the people honestly we don't even know how long we are going to manage all this but we just rest in the hand of god let me know what you think about this in the comment section below please don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell please give this video a like so that youtube can recommend it to more people and let me know what you think in the comment section below thank you